Yes, you've done your homework. I'll give you that, young Kenneth. Of course, we shall have to verify these findings for ourselves. That is, if we're interested in the first place. Come on, Sir John. We're talking oil here, not peanuts. You can't get higher than that. Now, you know that, and so does Sir Edward. And you couldn't even grow turnips on this land. That's the beauty of it. It's useless. But it is a bird sanctuary. Yes. Seems rather a shame to me. You know your interest in birds? Eh? Oh, yes, I was always keen on ornithology. Well, now, what about this land, Kent? You now own it, is that right? I've paid Graham Cousins the deposit. The land is mine. Mm. So you're now the proud owner of a bird sanctuary. Mm. But not the oil which may be underneath it, you know. That belongs to the state. Mm, but the government doesn't explore for oil. It grants licenses for that to private enterprise. Yes, but licenses are not granted to everybody, you know. No, we'll bring an oil company in. That's easy. Now, what I need right now is influence. Influence in the right places. Ah, I see. Without you and Sir Edward, this whole thing could take years, and I don't intend to wait that long. So what do you propose? I think you'll be interested. Let's wait for Gerald, shall we? So I hereby give notice, ladies and gentlemen, to whomsoever it may concern, that the cup is on its way home. Here, where it belongs. Avril, come in. You found your way here, all right? Oh, seems like I have to. We keep missing each other. Yes, I know. Look, I've got to talk to you about Gerald. He's getting in the way of everything I do, or trying to. Come on through. Turn around. See the mural? Mm -hmm. That's the way the estuary used to look. There's the mermaid yard across the other side. Oh, yes. So? Never mind. Do you like a drink? No, thank you, Charles. Well, how about some tea? Nobody here, but I think I can work the kitchen. No, no, really. I just want you to listen to what I have to say. Gerald is driving... Gerald is running the business. All right? Come on. Well, what do you think? Why are you doing this? Doing what? Hiding yourself away in this beautiful mausoleum. Hiding? I'm not hiding. Avril, I told you about this house on the plane. I am here any time you want to come and find me. <sighs> Stop it, Charles. You know what I mean. And don't you know what I'm doing here in this house? Look, take a look out there. Very nice. Charles, what's happened to you? You've let go. You... No, you're the one who's letting go. What? You're not giving us any time. How can I? Someone's got to run the business. That's Gerald. Gerald's wrecking it. Well, let him. There are more important things than business. You're completely impossible. I've got to hand it to you, young Kenneth. What do you want? Cousins has agreed to sell the estate to me for three million pounds. I've already paid him 300,000, the usual 10% deposit. And the usual terms? Oh, yes, balance due at the end of the month, otherwise the deposit is forfeited. So we each go third? In a manner of speaking, yes. You pay me £100,000 each. That'll commit us all equally to the purchase. And at the end of the month? Cousins gets the balance due, and you pay me £3 million pounds each. What? Well, that's just part of the action. <laughs> yes, I know. He thinks oh, he's got us by the short and curly. Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, what okay. do you think, Gerald? I'll Is it be worth right a try? OK, bye. Well, if there's oil there. There are risks, Gerald. But if there is oil there, I think it's worth getting at, don't you? Now, if you excuse me a second, somebody wants to see you in the showroom. Well, what do you think, Gerald? I think this is instant coffee. <laughs>
speed, it would be like hitting a brick wall. Too bad, Leo. It wasn't your fault, Leo. And you've got a placing. We could have come first, sir, if it wasn't for that jerk. Leave it, Leo. He raced well. Congratulations! Pal! Leo! Michael Hanley. Well, who else do you think it was? Tom. I think that went rather well. Have they shown you around? Oh, yes. Uh, Sir Edward, I'd like to discuss Ian's proposal for the wing keel. I understand you're not entirely convinced, but, uh, well, I am. My dear Tom, that's why I employ people like you. Do you think Cartwright knows what he's doing? Oh, without a doubt. He's one of the best there is. And you've thoroughly examined his ideas? Yes. Good. How was your day? Oh, rather dull, actually. Still, we're going to have a sale. Jan's going to take some space in the newspapers and she's put me in overall charge. Oh, really? Yes, she's finally tracked Anna down and they're going to meet up in Rome. Well, congratulations. Your first taste of power. I'm sure you'll love it. Why haven't you seen Abby? I think we were getting on so well, both of you, so what happened? I've been told I must respect her independence, and that's what I'm doing. Zip, Gerald. What is it, Polly? Something someone said at the post office. Have they been asking who the father is? They were ridiculous. Well, Terence, a small place. People gossip. Have you any idea what it's like to be working in the boutique when your friends come in and you can see from their faces that they know? I don't give a damn about the boutique. You're not going to turn Abby into your social cross. 